This time we're doing the month's advent retaliation mission, and because we've now killed all of the chosen, we do not have to worry about any of them turning up anymore. But unfortunately there are chrysalids on this mission, so we may have to be a little bit careful. So for our squad, we have our reaper as always to scout for the group. We have a ranger for the flanking crits, who we're also trying to get promoted. A grenadier with hail of bullets. A specialist and we'll be explaining why in just a moment. Our usual spark for overdrive shooting as always. And another sharpshooter who we're still trying to get promoted. We don't have any new equipment, but the reason we're bringing the specialist on this mission is because we've also given her the medical protocol ability in the training center. So now she's always going to have a free medikit equipped and able to remotely heal other units just in case someone gets tagged by a chrysalid. Otherwise we have a mostly standard set of items. We have the Talon rounds and blue screen rounds as always. And then our specialist is carrying both the Mimic Beacon, if we need a distraction, as well as some battle scanners, in case there are any buried chrysalids that we need to reveal. One five hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot, and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. It's time for another standard Advent retaliation mission, which could be dangerous with the chrysalids. We have both the resistance fighter from Volunteer Army, as well as an elite lancer from Double Agent. So we'll send our Reaper out and see if we can find any pods. My life is in your hands. Moving as ordered. Let's move already! Let's move already! On the move! Let's do this! Buried chrysalids are probably one of the more dangerous things you can deal with in XCOM 2. They basically turn into living landmines, where if you get too close, it will activate and immediately attack that unit. And this includes concealed units, so we have to be very cautious with our Reaper. We're going to start swinging off to the right side of the map to try and avoid as many of those buried chrysalids as we can. We had three buried chrysalids, and one of them has just come back up. We'll start heading off to the right. There could be something over here, so we'll use waypoints to avoid that spot. I am trusting you. We haven't seen anything yet. We could dash to catch up, because they're still very far away. There's a chrysalid inside this building, and the sectopod is back here somewhere, so we have quite a lot of distance to cover. Good to go! Normally it's quite risky to dash your entire squad, but especially with chrysalids in play, we can't really afford to leave them alive too long. Otherwise they'll start spawning more of them, and it'll start getting out of control. Rolling out! Roger that! Rolling out! Solid copy! Aliens approach. Our first pod is a group of chrysalids. It doesn't look like they've gone for any civilians yet.
Ideally we'd use remote start to hit this pod, but it looks like they're mostly out of range. Instead, it might be worth moving close enough to have them spot us and activate, but they're still very far away. Moving. Our ranger has enough mobility to activate them, but we'll have to be careful not to draw them towards our reaper. We'll use waypoints again to trigger them and then move back towards our spark. Let's do this! Hostile target eradicated. We also got a couple good hits from our Sparks Hunter protocol. Our Reaper can finish off that Chrysalid with Silent Killer. We'll keep our Sparks Overdrive for now, but we'll try to proc the Hair Trigger. And likewise, we'll hang on to lightning hands in case the sectopod comes towards us. X-ray neutralized. Here I come. Let's do this. On my way. Overwatch, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. That must be the buried chrysalid from earlier. That's two buried chrysalids revealed now, so that just leaves the third one. I believe the third one is out around this area somewhere, so we'll consider using a battle scanner once we get closer to try and reveal it. We should be safe to keep moving up this side with our Reaper, since all the chrysalids are apparently on the left. I will reposition. We still need to be careful about approaching civilians, because they could be faceless. We'll try to shred this chrysalid with our spark first. Moving on target. Our Reaper could finish that chrysalid off, but it's only a 95% chance, and some of the squad are quite far back. Our sharpshooter can just barely see the chrysalid for a pistol shot, but I don't like how close she's getting to the yard. Instead we can use combat protocol on our specialist, because it has squad sight-like properties. We just have to make sure she has a clear line of sight to the target. Here I come! Absolutely! 
I'll keep an eye on it. Come get some! Come get some! Gotta cover! Gotta cover! The Sectopod group also has a heavy mech and a trooper. Sectopods actually get three actions, so it's entirely possible for them to shoot, move and then shoot again. We still need to reveal that last buried chrysalid. So as we said earlier, we'll bring our specialist forward and deploy a battle scanner out in this area. We found another pod, a priest and a purifier, but we didn't get the chrysalid. I can't remember where that last chrysalid is, so we'll use our spark to scout ahead, because they obviously can't be poisoned by chrysalids. We may as well also activate this priest pod while we're doing it. On approach. Advent forces sighted. Diagnostic required. Finally! We'll bring our grenadier forward, but we can't hit both of them with a grenade. Our best option is to hit the purifier and expose the priest. This is okay though, because we want to kill the purifier first anyway. Here, catch! We'll use overdrive here to be sure. We should still have enough firepower for the sectopod without it. Target eliminated. Minimal ammunition remains. Possible miscalculation. We'll have to bring our other classes in to try and finish off the priest. If he lives, it's not a problem. He'll just use stasis or mind control. This is a situation where I wish we had another Grenadier for hollow targeting. Sure thing! We may be able to finish the priest off with our reaper. We still have to be mindful of the buried chrysalid though. I believe it's around here, but I'm not sure. I'm using waypoints again to avoid getting too close to this civilian. I am on the move. We'll use sting here, because there's a good chance this priest goes into stasis even if we get the hit. From the darkness, the light! Overwatch. 
Stasis is good. It could have been a problem if he used mind control on our ranger because she has Bladestorm. Before we make any moves, we'll try again with the battle scanner. We know the chrysalid isn't around there, so we'll try this area ahead. I'm trying to get it on the roof so it scans both sides of the building. Now all three chrysalids are revealed, we're free to move around as much as we want. We can take our reaper in to finish off this priest now that it doesn't have stasis. We'll bring our grenadier forward for the first shot against these chrysalids, but we'll keep hail of bullets in case we need it for the sectopod. Barely ahead. As for the other chrysalid, our spark needs to reload, which means they won't be in this fight unless they use bombard. We can use our sharpshooter to snipe one, but she's unlikely to kill the one at full health. Instead we'll move in, and she can use face off to hit both of them. I'm on it! Tired of we'll send our ranger in to try and weaken that back chrysalid. 59 is quite low, but you miss every shot you don't take. You I was going to use face off, but now we can just take the standard pistol shot. Target neutralized. That should be all the buried chrysalids now, so we should just be left with the remaining pods. Heading out. around on overwatch the fire is growing we'll hold position here to deal with this faceless our grenadier will either kill it outright, or add hollow targeting for someone else to finish it. You can't handle me! We'll maintain position oh, yeah. until she's ready to go again. At the time I wasn't sure whether we got all the chrysalids, so I decided to scout with our spark instead. That way we're safe from chrysalids, and we might still get some hunter protocol shots. Servos engaged. Overwatch! I need to reload! I'm on it! Overwatch. Overwatch. We could send our reaper onto the roof, but I still don't trust that there aren't any more chrysalids. They aren't killing any civilians, so we're not in a rush right now. Here I come! On the move! Absolutely! Let's do this! 
Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. Proceeding to target. This could be a potentially risky move if there were more buried chrysalids, but there aren't any left and we just end up activating the last pod. We don't have overdrive, but we do have a pretty good shred storm shot on the two ground targets. We'll just quickly double check that we aren't hitting any civilians. Our sharpshooter is too far back for pistol shots but we can use the grapple to get in range. We just need to pick a spot where she can see all three targets. We should be able to kill all of them, so we don't need to worry about cover. Going up! Before we take any shots, we'll bring our grenadier in to shred and apply hollow targeting on the mech. Our sharpshooter should be able to kill the sectopod with blue screen rounds. We may as well use hail of bullets to also guarantee the hit. Then we'll go back to our sharpshooter and use lightning hands to weaken the sectopod. We still have a quick draw shot. The only enemy we don't have a guaranteed kill on is the trooper, so we'll use it on him just to make sure. Evidence located. Target eliminated. Now we can just use face off to finish them both off. Before we deal with that faceless, we'll just send our reaper in to see what the loot is. I'll be there soon. Our ranger only has a 75% shot, but we can just use the grapple to close the distance. Her gun does do 9 to 11 damage, and we can back her up with combat protocol. Grapple out! How many is that now? Menace 1-5, status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. The biggest takeaway from this mission is that we were very fortunate that the chrysalids didn't infect too many civilians. It can get out of hand really quickly with the additional spawning enemies. It was also an important juggling act between using your battle scanners to look for buried chrysalids, sending your reaper out to scout while also avoiding those, and then using your spark when you're worried that you might trigger one anyway. At least then, they don't get poisoned, and they might get a hunter protocol shot on any other pods they wander into. It requires a bit more thinking than just always using your Reaper to scout.
if every mission goes this smoothly, it's only a matter of time before we regain control of the planet. You have done an outstanding job leading the Resistance, Commander. We should only need a few more days for our soldiers to recover so we can go on the Codex Brain Coordinates mission. We'll just check on our soldiers again quickly. It looks like all of them are ready to go again, so we may as well do that mission now. Thankfully the mission also does have codexes. That's good, because we still need to skulljack one of those to progress the story. The reason why I've been putting this off for so long though, is because just like that last mission had a lot of buried chrysalids, so does this one. This mission doesn't have any civilians to worry about, so the only ones the chrysalids are going to be going for is us, and there isn't any time limit. They're still dangerous to deal with though, so we'll have to handle it carefully. Setting course for Sector 5, India.